The next method we're going to talk about is the secant method. And the secant method is uh, very similar actually to the uh, newton raphson method in that we like to try to use the derivative uh, to find where the function intersects the axis and use that as our guess for the root. However, plot this function out. Here's the function we're going to find the root of. Um, but when we do this, we, we have this problem with the Newton method, and the Newton method requires not only that we evaluate the function f of x, but we also have to know not only f of x, but also f prime of x at the point. We have to know, and what happens if we don't know this derivative? Well, that's where the fixed point method comes in. The fixed point method overcomes this by using not one, but two initial guesses. Now, it uses two initial guesses, but the difference between the secant method and the bracketing methods is that the, the two initial guesses do not have to bracket the root. So we have two guesses. We'll call those two guesses x not and x1. Okay, so we have these two guesses, x0 and x1, and those are our guesses, but they don't bracket the root, or they, they, don't, they don't have to bracket the root. So then we use those, and we say, okay, well, we're going to use the point x1, and from this, we're going to get the line between these two points, and this is really, this is going to serve as our approximation to the derivative. And so we're going to project down to the x-axis, and we're going to find that point where it intersects with the x-axis, and that will be our new x. That'll be our x2. And let's switch colors so that, uh, so that this is going to make a little bit of sense here. So then we use our x2 and our x1 as our, our two x's in this next step. So we find the derivative between, well, we have to evaluate the function at x2, f of x2, and f of x1, these two points, we we'll use those as our next approximation. We find the derivative there, find out where it intersects the axis, and then that becomes our x3. So that becomes our x3, and then we use x2 and x3 as the next one. And as you can see, this converges very quickly to the root.